Kongkor Shank is a sea welling mollusk, which holds a significant place in Vedic scriptures, particularly in Hinduism, where the Shank is described as Lord Vishnu's emblem. It is believed that the vibrations from Shank are capable to exterminate any negative energy. In Hindu mythology it is described that Lord Vishnu, time and again in his various avatars, blows through the Kong to destroy the negativity around the world. The Kongkor Shank is Vishnu's sacred symbol and thus holds highest importance in both Hinduism and Buddhism. As per sacred Vedic texts, Shank is of two types one, for blowing sound, two, for worshipping purpose. It is said that one who blows into the Shank on daily basis is protected against any heart disease. Therefore, people often keep this sacred symbol in their house but they often do not respect it the way it is mentioned in Shastras. A shank must be duly worshipped by the family members and must be blown into at least twice a day, morning and evening. Today, I am going to share with you some vast tips that must be taken care of while bringing home a shank. If you're keen to bring shank to home, then get at least two and they must be kept separately. The shank which is used for blowing must never be offered water or any religious chants and must be placed on a yellow cloth. The shank brought in for worshipping purposes must be cleansed with gangajal and be wrapped in sacred white cloth. The shank which is being worshipped must be kept above or at a high place of the one being used for blowing purpose. Never keep two shank for similar purpose, either blowing or worshipping, in the same temple. Puja room the shank must never be placed above shivling or should not touch the shiv bindi during any religious ritual. The shank must never be used in offering water to either Lord Shiva or Lord Sunday.